Consider living your life with a mentality that reframes every failure into an opportunity for success. This might sound like just another motivational quote, but it is an important wisdom principle originated hundred of years back in ancient philosophy, Stoicism. This outlook not only shows us how to deal with the punches life throws at you, but teaches that sometimes those same hits are exactly what makes our strengths. How is Stoicism affecting our lives today and key lessons? It offers us the core of Stoic philosophy from ancient Rome to now. In fact, whether you are experiencing personal trials and tribulations or defeating challenges in your profession or even the general mayhem of life, Stoic philosophy has wisdom to be uncovered that can help guide you not just through surviving, but thriving. To show us where the real power to lead a fulfilled life rests, not in altering our circumstances, but in how we reorient towards them. Join me on this journey through 12 lessons from Stoicism that have the power to turn our adversity and woes into triumphs of strength, grace, and unshakable will. Join me on this escapade. 1. The Power of Perspective Just picture reframing every obstacle that comes your way as an opening for expansion. And it is this change in perspective that stands as one of the most potent lessons among those taught by Stoicism. The Stoics held that perception determines reality. They shared with us an idea that through shifting our perspective on obstacles, they become stepping stones. Reflect on a time when you experienced quite an adversity. Let us also say that you were not given a job offer. The relationship comes to an abrupt end. In these circumstances, our natural response can be anger, sorrow, and even hopelessness. But the Stoics would have us look at it another way. Rather than take these setbacks as failure, we should look upon them as lessons. For instance, you interviewed for a job and did not get it. Rather than wallow in the disappointment, reflect on what you can take away from this experience. Maybe it is signaling you where your skills are lacking or giving hint for how to better equip yourself when the next opportunity arises. That shift of perspective changes a failure into an opportunity for success. The idea is not to ignore or downplay the difficulty of the situation, but to reframe it in a way that empowers you. By changing your perspective, you take control of how the event impacts you. This approach doesn't change the reality of the situation, but transforms your reaction to it, which can make a significant difference in your overall well-being. Moreover, this stoic principle teaches us the importance of focusing on what we can control. We can't always control the events that happen to us, but we can control how we respond to them. This focus on personal agency is central to Stoic philosophy. It reminds us that we have the power to shape our destiny, not by changing external circumstances, but by changing our internal response. Another key aspect of this lesson is the concept of the inner citadel. The Stoics believe that our true strength lies within us, in our ability to maintain our equanimity regardless of external conditions. This inner strength is built by consistently practicing the art of perspective. When we encounter challenges, we can retreat to our inner citadel, find our balance, and face the situation with a clear and calm mind. One practical way to apply this lesson is through the practice of journaling. At the end of each day, take some time to reflect on the challenges you faced and how you responded to them. Write about how you can reframe these experiences to see the positive aspects or the lessons learned. This exercise helps reinforce the habit of seeing challenges from a growth perspective. Additionally, surrounding yourself with supportive and positive influences can help maintain this mindset. Engage with content, whether books, podcasts, or videos, that encourages a positive outlook and reinforces the power of perspective. 2. Control what you can. One of the fundamental teachings of Stoicism is to focus on what you can control and let go of what you cannot. 
This principle is incredibly liberating and helps us manage stress and anxiety by shifting our focus to our own actions, attitudes, and choices. Imagine you're stuck in traffic, running late for an important meeting. The situation is beyond your control, and feeling stressed or angry won't change it. What you can control, however, is your response. You can choose to remain calm, use the time to listen to an educational podcast, or plan your next steps once you arrive. This shift in focus from the uncontrollable traffic to your controllable reaction makes the experience less stressful and more productive. The Stoics believe that our peace of mind depends on our ability to distinguish between what is within our control and what is not. They categorized everything into two spheres, the internal and the external. The internal sphere includes our thoughts, feelings, actions, and responses. The external sphere includes everything outside our direct influence, such as other people's actions, natural events, and outcomes. By concentrating on the internal sphere, we take ownership of our lives. This focus on personal agency is empowering because it means that no matter what happens, we always have control over our attitude and response. This mindset fosters resilience and equanimity as we are no longer tossed about by external circumstances. To apply this lesson in daily life, start by identifying areas where you tend to worry about things beyond your control. Make a conscious effort to shift your focus to what you can do in those situations. For example, if you're worried about a project at work, instead of stressing about the final outcome, concentrate on the tasks you need to complete today. By breaking down your worries into actionable steps, you regain a sense of control and reduce anxiety. Another practical exercise is the practice of negative visualization, a technique used by the Stoics to prepare for potential challenges. Spend a few minutes each day imagining the worst case scenarios and how you would handle them. This doesn't mean dwelling on negativity, but rather building mental resilience by preemptively considering how you can control your responses. When these situations arise, you'll be better prepared to face them calmly and effectively. Mindfulness and meditation are also valuable tools in practicing this stoic principle. By cultivating awareness of your thoughts and emotions, you become more attuned to how you react to external events. This awareness allows you to pause, reflect, and choose a more constructive response. Over time, this practice strengthens your ability to focus on what you can control and let go of the rest. 3. Embrace discomfort. Growth often lies just beyond our comfort zone. This is a core lesson in Stoicism, which teaches us to embrace discomfort and face our fears head on. By doing so, we build resilience and expand our capabilities, transforming challenges into opportunities for personal development. Imagine you have a fear of public speaking. The thought of standing in front of a crowd makes your heart race and palms sweat. The stoic approach would encourage you to confront this fear rather than avoid it. By gradually exposing yourself to public speaking situations, starting with small groups and working your way up, you become more comfortable and confident. This process, though uncomfortable, helps you grow and develop a valuable skill. The Stoics believe that true strength and virtue are developed through facing adversity. They practiced what is known as voluntary discomfort to prepare themselves for inevitable hardships. This might include fasting, enduring physical discomfort, or taking cold showers. These practices were not about self-punishment, but about building mental and physical resilience. By voluntarily experiencing discomfort, they strengthened their ability to remain calm and composed in the face of unexpected challenges. In modern life, we can apply this principle by seeking out and embracing situations that challenge us. For example, taking on a difficult project at work, learning a new skill that seems daunting, or engaging in activities that push our physical limits. Each time we step out of our comfort zone, we expand our capabilities and build confidence in our ability to handle adversity. 
One practical way to embrace discomfort is to set small, incremental challenges for yourself. Start with something manageable but slightly uncomfortable, like waking up an hour earlier than usual or committing to a daily exercise routine. As you become more comfortable with these challenges, gradually increase their difficulty. This progressive approach helps you build resilience and confidence over time. Another useful practice is the stoic exercise of premeditatio malorum, or premeditation of evils. This involves mentally preparing for potential difficulties by visualizing worst case scenarios. By considering how you would handle these situations, you build mental resilience and reduce the fear of the unknown. When faced with actual challenges, you're better prepared to respond calmly and effectively. 4. Practice Gratitude Gratitude is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, offering a powerful tool for cultivating a positive mindset. By focusing on what we have rather than what we lack, we can find contentment and joy in any circumstance, no matter how challenging. Imagine starting your day by listing three things you're grateful for. This simple practice can shift your focus from what's missing in your life to the abundance that already exists. The Stoics believe that gratitude helps us appreciate the present moment and the many small blessings we often overlook. One way to incorporate gratitude into your daily routine is through journaling. Each morning or evening, take a few minutes to write down things you're grateful for these can be big or small, from the support of a loved one to a beautiful sunset or a successful day at work. The act of writing reinforces these positive thoughts and helps to establish a habit of gratitude. The Stoics also taught the importance of gratitude in maintaining perspective. When we focus on what we have, we are less likely to be consumed by desires for what we don't have. This shift in focus helps to reduce feelings of envy and dissatisfaction. For example, instead of feeling envious of a friend's new car, you might feel grateful for the reliable transportation you have. This mindset fosters a sense of contentment and reduces the stress that comes from constantly wanting more. In addition to personal journaling, expressing gratitude to others is a powerful practice. Taking the time to thank someone for their kindness or support not only strengthens your relationship, but also reinforces your own feelings of gratitude. A simple thank you note, a kind word, or an act of appreciation can have a profound impact on both the giver and the receiver. The Stoics also believed in finding gratitude even in difficult situations. This might seem counterintuitive, but it's a powerful way to reframe challenges as opportunities for growth. For instance, if you face a setback at work, you might feel grateful for the chance to learn and improve. This doesn't mean ignoring the difficulty of the situation, but rather finding a silver lining that can help you move forward with a positive attitude. Meditation is another effective way to cultivate gratitude. A gratitude meditation involves focusing your mind on things you are thankful for. This practice can help to quiet the mind, reduce stress, and foster a deeper sense of appreciation for life. By regularly meditating on gratitude, you train your brain to naturally focus on the positive aspects of your life. Surrounding yourself with positive influences can also enhance your practice of gratitude. Engage with books, podcasts, or people who emphasize the importance of gratitude and positivity. This supportive environment reinforces your own efforts to cultivate a grateful mindset. 5. The Art of Letting Go The Stoics taught that much of our suffering comes from attachment to things beyond our control. By learning the art of letting go, we can free ourselves from unnecessary stress and anxiety, finding peace and equanimity in the process. Consider the frustration you might feel when plans change unexpectedly. Perhaps you were looking forward to a weekend getaway, but bad weather forced you to cancel. Instead of clinging to disappointment, the stoic approach would encourage you to accept the situation and let go of your attachment to the original plan. This acceptance allows you to focus on what you can do instead, turning a potentially negative experience 
into an opportunity for relaxation or a new adventure at home. The Stoics believed that our attachments often lead to unnecessary suffering. Whether it's attachment to material possessions, specific outcomes, or even relationships, these attachments can create stress when things don't go as planned. By letting go of these attachments, we reduce the emotional burden they carry and open ourselves to new possibilities. One practical way to practice letting go is through mindfulness and meditation. These practices help you become aware of your thoughts and emotions, allowing you to observe them without attachment. When you notice feelings of frustration, disappointment or desire, you can acknowledge them and then release them rather than letting them dominate your mindset. Another useful technique is to regularly reflect on the impermanence of life. The Stoics encouraged contemplating the fleeting nature of all things, including our own lives. This reflection helps us appreciate what we have in the present moment and reduces the fear of losing it. By recognizing that everything is temporary, we can let go of our attachment to specific outcomes and embrace the flow of life. Additionally, simplifying your life can help you practice the art of letting go. Decluttering your physical space, reducing commitments and minimizing distractions allow you to focus on what truly matters. This simplicity creates a sense of freedom and reduces the stress associated with maintaining a complex and busy life. The Stoics also emphasize the importance of accepting what you cannot change. This acceptance doesn't mean resignation, but rather recognizing the limits of your control. By focusing on your actions and responses, rather than trying to control external events, you empower yourself to navigate life with greater ease and grace. 6. Live in accordance with nature. The Stoics believe that living in harmony with nature is essential for a fulfilling life. This means understanding and accepting the natural order of things, including our own nature as human beings, and aligning our actions with this understanding. Imagine a river flowing smoothly towards the sea. If you try to swim against the current, you'll exhaust yourself and make little progress. However, if you go with the flow, you'll move effortlessly and enjoy the journey. This metaphor illustrates the Stoic idea of living in accordance with nature. By understanding and accepting the natural flow of life, we reduce struggle and find more peace. Living in accordance with nature starts with self-awareness. The Stoics encouraged us to understand our own nature, including our strengths, weaknesses, desires, and tendencies. This self-awareness allows us to make choices that align with our true selves, rather than being driven by external pressures or unrealistic expectations. For example, if you know that you work best in the morning, arrange your schedule to tackle important tasks early in the day. By aligning your actions with your natural rhythms, you enhance your productivity and well-being. This principle also applies to recognizing and respecting your limits. Pushing yourself beyond your natural capacity often leads to burnout and stress, while working within your limits promotes sustainable growth and balance. The Stoics also taught the importance of understanding the broader natural order, including the interconnectedness of all things. This perspective helps us see our place in the world and our relationship with others and the environment. By recognizing that we are part of a larger whole, we cultivate a sense of humility and gratitude, appreciating the contributions of others and the gifts of nature. Practicing mindfulness and meditation can help you connect with your natural self and the world around you. These practices enhance your awareness of the present moment, allowing you to appreciate the beauty and complexity of life. By regularly engaging in mindfulness, you develop a deeper understanding of your own nature and the natural order, fostering a sense of harmony and balance. Another way to live in accordance with nature is to simplify your life and focus on what truly matters. This might involve reducing material possessions, prioritizing meaningful relationships, 
and spending time in nature. By stripping away unnecessary distractions, you create space for what is truly important, aligning your life with your core values and natural rhythms. 7. The Importance of Virtue For the Stoics, virtue was the highest good and the foundation of a good life. They believe that living a virtuous life leads to true happiness and fulfillment. Virtue, in this context, means living in accordance with reason and moral principles, such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Imagine you're faced with a moral dilemma at work. You discover that a colleague has been dishonest about their performance. Reporting this might risk your relationship with them, but staying silent could harm the team's integrity. A Stoic would encourage you to act with virtue, choosing honesty and justice over personal convenience. By prioritizing virtue, you not only uphold your moral principles, but also contribute to a more ethical and trustworthy environment. The Stoics identified four cardinal virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Wisdom involves making informed and rational decisions. Courage is the ability to face challenges and difficulties with bravery. Justice means treating others fairly and with respect. Temperance is the practice of self-control and moderation. Together, these virtues guide our actions and decisions, leading to a balanced and ethical life. To cultivate virtue, start by reflecting on your values and principles. Consider what virtues are most important to you and how they can guide your actions. For example, if honesty is a core value, think about how you can practice it in your daily interactions. By aligning your actions with your values, you build a strong moral foundation and enhance your integrity. Another practical approach is to set virtuous goals. These goals should reflect your commitment to living a virtuous life. For instance, you might set a goal to practice kindness by performing one act of kindness each day. These small, consistent actions reinforce your commitment to virtue and gradually build your moral character. 8. Accepting Mortality The Stoics taught that accepting mortality is essential for living a fulfilling life. By acknowledging the inevitability of death, we can appreciate the present moment and live more fully. This acceptance helps us prioritize what truly matters and reduces fear and anxiety about the unknown. Imagine you're given a diagnosis of a serious illness. The prospect of facing your mortality can be daunting and overwhelming. However, the Stoic approach would encourage you to confront this reality with courage and acceptance. By acknowledging your mortality, you can focus on making the most of the time you have, deepening your relationships, and pursuing meaningful goals. The Stoics believe that reflecting on death helps us appreciate life. This practice, known as memento mori, or remember you must die, involves regularly contemplating the transient nature of life. By doing so, we are reminded to cherish each moment and not take life for granted. This reflection helps us prioritize our time and energy on what truly matters, rather than getting caught up in trivial concerns. One practical way to accept mortality is to engage in regular reflection and meditation on death. This doesn't mean dwelling on death morbidly, but rather acknowledging it as a natural part of life. Consider what you want your legacy to be and how you can live in a way that reflects your values and priorities. This reflection can inspire you to make the most of each day and live with greater intention. Another approach is to simplify your life and focus on what truly matters. By reducing distractions and unnecessary commitments, you create space for meaningful activities and relationships. This simplification helps you live more fully in the present moment, appreciating the time you have and making the most of it. The Stoics also emphasize the importance of living with purpose and integrity. By aligning your actions with your values and pursuing meaningful goals, you create a sense of fulfillment and satisfaction. 
This purposeful living reduces the fear of death, as you can take comfort in knowing that you have lived a meaningful life. 9. The Power of Perspective The Stoics taught that our perception of events shapes our experience of them. By changing our perspective, we can transform our emotional responses and handle challenges more effectively. This principle emphasizes the power of our thoughts and the importance of cultivating a rational and positive mindset. Imagine you're stuck in traffic on your way to an important meeting. You could choose to feel frustrated and anxious, focusing on the delay and its potential consequences. Alternatively, you could use this time to listen to an inspiring podcast, practice deep breathing, or plan your day. By shifting your perspective, you change your emotional response and make the best of the situation. The Stoics believe that events themselves are neutral. It is our judgments about them that create our emotional responses. For example, losing a job might be seen as a disaster or an opportunity for growth, depending on your perspective. By recognizing that our thoughts influence our feelings, we can choose more constructive ways of interpreting events. One practical way to harness the power of perspective is through cognitive reframing. This involves identifying negative or irrational thoughts and replacing them with more balanced and rational ones. For instance, if you find yourself thinking, I'll never succeed, reframe it to, success takes time and effort, and I'm making progress. This shift in thinking can reduce anxiety and foster a more positive outlook. 10. Embracing Discomfort The Stoics taught that embracing discomfort is essential for growth and resilience. By willingly facing challenges and hardships, we build strength and character preparing ourselves to handle life's inevitable difficulties with greater ease. Consider an athlete training for a marathon. The training process involves enduring physical discomfort, pushing beyond limits, and persevering through pain. This discomfort is not only necessary for building physical strength, but also for developing mental toughness. Similarly, the Stoics believe that facing and embracing discomfort in various aspects of life strengthens our character and resilience. One practical way to embrace discomfort is to regularly challenge yourself. This might involve setting and pursuing difficult goals, stepping out of your comfort zone, or deliberately facing fears. For example, if public speaking terrifies you, Seek opportunities to practice and improve. By confronting this fear, you build confidence and resilience, making future challenges more manageable. Another approach is to practice voluntary discomfort. This involves deliberately exposing yourself to mild discomfort to build mental and physical resilience. Examples include taking cold showers, fasting, or engaging in strenuous exercise. These practices help you develop a tolerance for discomfort and reduce your sensitivity to it. Over time, you become more adaptable and capable of handling life's adversities. Mindfulness and meditation can also support your ability to embrace discomfort. These practices help you develop awareness and acceptance of your thoughts and sensations, even when they are unpleasant. By practicing mindfulness, you learn to observe discomfort without judgment or resistance, reducing its impact on your well-being. 11. Fostering Community and Connection The Stoics believed in the importance of fostering community and connection. They recognized that humans are inherently social beings, and our well-being is closely tied to our relationships with others. Building and maintaining meaningful connections enhances our happiness, resilience, and sense of belonging. Imagine a tight-knit community where neighbors support each other through life's challenges. This sense of connection creates a strong support network, providing comfort and assistance during difficult times. The Stoics taught that fostering such connections enriches our lives and strengthens our ability to cope with adversity. One practical way to foster community is to actively participate in social activities and organizations. 
Join groups or clubs that align with your interests and values, and seek out opportunities to connect with others. This involvement helps you build a network of supportive relationships and enhances your sense of belonging. Another approach is to practice kindness and compassion. Small acts of kindness, such as offering a helping hand or listening to someone's concerns, can have a significant impact on your relationships. By showing genuine care and consideration for others, you strengthen your connections and foster a positive and supportive community. Mindfulness and active listening are also essential for building meaningful connections. When engaging with others, be fully present and attentive, showing interest in their thoughts and feelings. This practice deepens your relationships and fosters mutual understanding and trust. 12. Accept Mortality Finally, Stoicism teaches us to accept our mortality. By acknowledging the finite nature of life, we gain a sense of urgency to live fully and authentically. This acceptance also helps us let go of trivial concerns and focus on what truly matters. Conclusion The wisdom of Stoicism offers a profound and practical guide to navigating life's challenges. By adopting these 12 lessons, we transform our struggles into opportunities for growth and lead a life of purpose, resilience, and integrity. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you found this exploration of Stoic principles inspiring, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more insights on living a fulfilling life guided by ancient wisdom. Let's continue to support and inspire each other as we strive to become the best versions of ourselves.